Understanding and using layers. What the heck are layers? Layers equal the ability to turn things on and off in your plan, period, end of discussion. Well, not really, but that's the main purpose of them. Layers are also used to define different line colors, line styles, line weights, line types, things like that. But that's the bottom line, is they're used to turn things on and off in your plan. If you can't see something in your plan, it's either not in the plan or the layer is turned off. You know, I've had many times I've worked on plans and I thought, where is that stupid thing I drew the other day? So I just turn all my layers on and I can find it. Layer sets, ability to turn defined groups, groups, defined groups of items on and off in your plan. I'll show you that in just a sec. Reason, you use layers, because I say so, no. You reason you use layers is so that you can draw everything in one plan. All right, you draw your electrical and everything that goes with the electrical plan on one set of layers and you turn those off. You work on your plumbing, get everything on that, turn that off. You get everything for your framing, your windows, your notes, everything that goes in a plan. You get that on a certain set of layers and you turn those off. Now when you're ready to produce your working drawings, you send the views to Chief with the right layer sets turned on for your electrical, your plumbing, the different things that you have in your plan. All right. Another great use for working with layers is to work on specific parts of a plan. Let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so if I go back into Chief, all right, so this plan, some plans don't require that many layer sets. The person I drew this plan for didn't need an electrical plan, didn't need a plumbing plan, just needed a basic default floor plan, <coughs> which had all the dimensions and everything in it. Didn't need a cabinet plan. Cabinet people were going to do that. Okay, had I drawn that, I'd have a layer set just for items for the cabinets. So. If you, you'll see here that you've got these different lists of things up here that you can select from and it, they've got different things listed here you know just ignore that. that that could mean nothing to you it could mean everything to you it doesn't really matter what really matters is what you need to have in your final drawing all right so if I needed a framing plan again uh, the goal here is to draw everything in one plan okay so there's my framing set, my layer set, but you know I have framing going on in this plan also. I have lots of framing, but I just want, I'll just show you this. I know I got a framing set that's got different layers on it too, but here you, you'll see I've turned off all these other things and now just my framing's turned on because I'm in my layout framing set. Now how did I get there? How did that work? Well basically when you click on this arrow icon right here that's going to open your layers. There's a keystroke for that. It's the one little squiggly one next to the one. Um, you can also click on this if you want to do layer set management. I mean, that's a whole different thing. So what you're going to do when you click on that is it's going to open up this list. And in this list, you're going to have all these different things on it that have that are related to things in your plan. Everything in your plan has to relate to someone, something on this list or it's not in your plan. There can't be something in your plan that's not on some layer somewhere. It's impossible. So what you're going to do is you're going to notice that different things are turned on and off. And that's the main thing we're going to look at right here is this, display. What's turned on? So under my layer layout framing set, what items do I have turned on? Well, if I needed to, I could well, say, you know, I had some framing text. Where did that go? So I might turn that on. And that's another thing that you're going to get as part of my class, by the way. Um, I'm working on a brand new template for X1 and X2. That's, uh, if you thought version 10 was good, uh, this will be a lot better. So more walls, more layer sets that are well organized. So still got some work to do, but I'm working on it. So uh, back to this and text. So here I've got text for different things. Now, if if there's not a red plus sign, okay, so I have text for general notes here, plot plan notes, text for my windows and doors. If there's not a red plus sign, then there's nothing in the plan. 
So this electrical notes, there's nothing in the plan on electrical notes because there's no red plus sign. So that's your layer set. So you see I just turned a bunch of text on. Okay, so that's your layer sets. Now, let me just show you one thing you can do with these that I do all the time. I use the all off on layer set. And quite often I'll create a layer set. Quite often I'll, I'll use this to work on my plan. All right, so right now, well, first of all, if I if there's if I knew there was something in my plan and I couldn't find it, I'm just going to go to my all on layer set. There's there's all off and on. I added the all off on myself because I just use that one all the time. So what I might do here is open the layer dialog for that, for the all off on set. I'm going to hit select all down here, hit the select all button, and then I'm going to hit check this in for display, and that'll turn every single possible layer in my plan on. All right, so you came up a green box. I'm going to check it in. Now everything that's in my plan will be displayed. If it's in my plan, I will be able to find it now. Now on the other hand, a lot of times I want to work on something. Maybe all, all I want to do is work on the roof framing. So what I'll do is I'll go to that same layer set, or you could even create your own if you want. It doesn't matter. It's kind of I just use these on a plan by plan basis. Well this time I'll hit select all and I'll uncheck that and turn everything off. And then I'll just go back into my framing and I type FR to get into the framing part of my layer set. So I'll go framing and I'm going to go turn on my different framing items for my roof or my ceiling or whatever it is that I want to work on at this point in my plan. Maybe I want to see my walls too. So I'll turn my walls on my wall layers so I can see how everything lines up. Now you can see it's a much simpler plan to work on because I'm only displaying the things that I want to work on at that point. So I'm not messing around with all that other stuff in my plan. Okay, so that's that. All right, so that's a little bit about layers and layer sets. I mean, it's just very powerful. Um, again, they help you develop your plan so everything is just in one plan file. You don't have a bunch of other plans, and uh, it does make a big difference. So if I want to go back to my default set, I can do that. And there's that stuff. So again, all that framing is still in my plan. It's just turned off right now until I want to use it. Another use for layer sets. I'll show you one more thing, then I'll go back. We have two more things to zip through here. Um, but I wanted to spend most time on platforms and roofs because that's the area that most people have trouble with. All right. Um, I like to do 3D framing in all my plans. Um, it helps me see what's being built. It doesn't take very long. If you've got your model done correctly, which you should be doing for your correct elevations, the framing does not take that long to do. All right, so in this particular plan, if I switch to my 3D framing set, you will see what's new in this house. I mean, there's no mistaking what's being built here. I mean, it's very obvious. Okay, that's part of doing the 3D framing correctly. And, it, you know, it probably took me 15 minutes to do that. Again, because everything was in place already, and it and it's going to give me a material list that's somewhat usable now. There's a technique to this, and it's not hard to do once you understand that technique. So, but again, I can you could give this plan to anybody just like this, and they say go build this. Should be a done deal. Here's your layers. Okay.